Hey guys, what's going on? Bo Feedy here, and welcome to another Celebrity Feats review. Oh shit, I'm sorry, wrong channel. This is actually some footage from the Close Test Branch Round 2, uh, where we're playing with the RP-46, which is the final iteration of the DP-27, DP-28, which allows the use of belts instead of the old dinner plate magazines. I believe Tripwire has stated that this is actually a North Korean variant, aka a Type 64. What does that change in game? Nothing, but I figured you boys would enjoy that little morsel. We do some running and gunning, some camping, the whole gamut really, but we also discuss the Saigon map itself, as well as other things coming with patch 1.3. Check it out. Let's do this shit. Oh, I might spam me some fucking ammo, cunt. Oh, I might can give me some fucking ammo. Yeah, cheers. Oh my gosh, what's with this overhead map? This looks terrible. I think the sound is a placeholder. But, I could be wrong. I'm guessing all the gun sounds are placeholders, or...? Oh god, bipod, no! I guess we shouldn't just come up right to the gate, huh? We should go the other way. No, oh, I actually kind of like the sound of this gun. It reminds me of um something from Rising Storm One, I think. Yeah, I'm gonna go, I think, to the east side. Let's set up this ammo cache. Actually, we can get up on this roof, I think. One of these roofs. Balconies. Here it is. Though, they, they're inside these things here, too. Somebody sees me, shit. Oh my gosh, you can get up on this roof?! That's the most excited you've ever seen me right there. You can get up on this roof? Oh, I can't see anything without binoculars. Just wall bang some people. Oh, I hit something. Oh man, this gun's pretty fun. Oh, I don't think we can make that jump, man. Um, I'd say it handles much like uh, the DP-28. I think it's better than DP-28. Maybe it has a little more horizontal spread, but you can game with it, my man. Oh, he's right there? Are you serious? Fucking bastard. Nah, I guess they're taking it. Not without me. I, I didn't do anything. Shit. I guess we are just going right through the gate, because... No one's stopping us. Well, the good thing about this is it also... ...can go right through walls pretty easily. Scout! Reported! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It's getting fucking wild. That's bad Artie Mark too, man. Well, that was an easy headshot. Yeah, if, they, if you can see a muzzle flash, but they added like this haze on this map. So you can't really see much of anything. Uh, I guess it does handle a little weird. But I mean, you can see I can I can get a pretty good group out of it. And 
Ah, uh, you can't go up in this tower. Return to the combat area. What a joke. They changed this how this works too. They changed all this too. They took all this shit out. Scout yeah. reported. Antias defenses are active. Boy, these guys can see better than me, apparently. I didn't even see that guy. I only shot his, uh, muzzle flash. Being able to see him in these buildings is gonna be pretty tough, though. I'm trying- I'm gonna try and get upstairs, see if I can set up up there. Oh! There we go. Now oh, this is- this is the ticket. Oh, fuck! Hey, watch out. Somebody, somebody just got shot up there. Oh, sorry, public. They're all, they're all fucking dying, man. Maybe I'll just, I'll just chill here for a sec. I hear him. I guess he was upstairs. Return to the combat area. Yeah, I'm not sure why you can't go up in the tower, or you can't we go on this whole side here. Because that whole side was used to cut off their their spawn and coming this way, right? I guess you don't need to go up in the tower if you can go up in this building here. And this whole building is not part of the cap anymore either. We are taking Alpha. Who's upstairs? Yeah, I mean, you guess you can just camp them from here if you wanted to. Or go up on the balcony. This would probably be better for seeing people upstairs too. If I was squad leader, could get a nice mark here. Wahoo! We are taking Alpha. Oh no! I pre-fired him, but he didn't go into my shots, man. It's up there for sure. Especially with a 250 round belt, and you get another belt. It does feel like you move faster like this than you do with the regular DP-28. A lot faster, actually. I think you move faster with this than you do with the RPD. That's how it feels. I'm just gonna try and get in the point, man. What is that? Was he clipping through the wall there? Oh, that sounds like a nade. Get some! Oh, I hear somebody right out there. I mean, it's definitely one you want to be crouched with, like, especially with the crouch recoil buff. I don't know if this- yeah, I don't know if this speed is intended. Oh, come on. What are you doing there, man? What are you doing there, Subarashi? So this is like, um, evening, I'm guessing, right? Sun's going down. Clouds are lit up. Just running down this open street here, waiting to get shot. Oh, there were the shots, too. Shoot, good luck trying to see somebody from here, man. Yikes. Yeah, I'm still not used to being able to lean and move. That's gonna take a little bit of time. It's gonna take a little bit of time to get used to that. I mean, for suppressing people, yeah, this is gonna be like money. But for running and gunning, I'm, I don't know, man. It should be better than the RPD, right? Over. 
I can see if I can try and see people from here, but odds of that are pretty low. And I don't think this goes through the brick. Oh, that's somebody right there? Oh, man. I think I was ambitious. I do like the sound of this, though. It, oh, that's what it reminds me of, is the freaking woodpecker from Rising Storm 1. That's what it reminds me of, though. I miss that woodpecker, man. That thing was sweet. I loved that on, um, Boss Fate Factory. I mean, I know that the Mass 49 sounds are placeholder, but I don't know if this one's a placeholder. I don't mind this sound, actually, at all. Not having a squad tunnel here is kind of putting me in a bad position here. I'm having to look down this giant open street with no cover here. We got some smoke in front of the cathedral. Oh, there he is. Alright, we finally made it. And we got the guy. We're being a real hero. Let's go to this flank over here. Well, you should be able to tunnel on all this. You should be able to tunnel on all this concrete over here and on this west side. Okay. Oh, uh, there's, yeah, there's a balcony right here. Right there. Oh, come on, Wilson. What are you doing up there, man? Where are we? Oh, okay. Ooh. Watch, watch the back blast, man. Careful, this is that guy's over there. What is this? What is this? A war? Return to the combat area. Ah! He was literally right on the other side of this little gas station, man. He's coming for the tunnel now. Oh, I see. There's one. Oh, okay. There's one there. It's in golf four. Well, yeah, man, you get you get one of these things opening up on your position. I made it. I don't know if there's still a guy over there or not. I guess I should put the bipod out. Maybe I should just try and play a little slower here. Gotta make sure there's no people hiding in these damn planters, man. Yeah, I don't, how do you guys feel about the grenade changes, the sounds? Scout. People on Reporting. YouTube didn't seem to like them, but I like them better at a distance than I do when they're up close. I think when they're up close, they just sound, I don't know, like cheesy to me. Like I said, they sound like they came from like a Counter-Strike sound pack. I mean, I don't know. I don't know how sound engineers process explosions. Probably we're just used to hearing things, um, like Hollywood explosions. Careful with this already. Oh shit, a double. Right on. Oh no! Oh no. I thought I got a kill. Yeah, the, the moving and leaning is gonna be nice. It's just gonna take a little bit of mystery for me. Hey! 
Well, there's the new fire. Ooh. I mean, this is going to be really good for suppressing people, too. That's not really my playstyle. I mean, you can't really play MG the same way you could in RO2 or Rising Storm 1. You kind of have to be mobile. And this thing, I, I have an extra belt right now, and I'm, I think I'm moving faster still than I would have with the um, DP-28. Oh, get some. No, oh, I didn't get any of those kills. <laughs> Shit. I was excited. Oh, we gotta get Charlie still. Oh no. Got a thumper trying to spam us from the roof, probably. Do we, do we dare look out here? Shoot. Yeah, watch out, they got a thumper up there. Stay close to the wall. Well, I think with any sound change, it just takes getting used to. I mean, everyone, you'll get used to it, but the worst is if you change a gun sound, because then everyone has to relearn that gun sound. But, like I said, you, you get used to it over time. So there's always going to be a lot of opposition right away. People fear change. Well, I hear a thumper. Please, what are you guys doing? Why are you running into my freaking line of sight here? Oh no, oh no. This is where this is where you gotta lean, right? I don't see anybody. Let's frag him. Yeet! I don't think that got the distance though. I mean for wall banging, I don't think they I don't think it gets better than this, does it? Maybe the nineteen nineteen, but that's recoil is all over the place. Oh, there's somebody behind that wall. You can actually aim through it now, but yeah, it's it's still a bit obtrusive, but I mean it's just true to the actual rifle, right? So you can open it up, but you still gotta have the, the look of it. I don't know that they'd really do that chop mod. If they did, then hey by all means. Or if you could customize your sight, of course that'd be awesome. Yeah, Steve Buscemi's spawn camping us. It shows there's still somebody up here. Are they up on the roof, you think? Oh, yep, they are. What's he doing up there, man? There's still one in this building, too, then, eh? Got him nice. Oh, yeah, this is a little bit dirty, too. It'd be cool if there was a wall banging icon. Oh, no, don't do it. Game. Here we go. Now, this is different, too. The original Black April didn't have that. This is- oh man. You can actually see the stairs from here, huh? Get some! Yeah, this is kind of dirty, isn't it? Nice.
always preferred the RPD's recoil pattern. Oh, fudge. Whoops. That's a lot of meat sounds. You can just camp the soul stairwell there. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Never mind. Oh, dude, Hodor, can I get some ammo, brother? Oh, uh, cheers. <clears throat> I like this kind of stuff, though. I like this is like improvised, you know what I mean? It's like improvised garrison of the building. I think I think you could use some more of that on some maps. Just for uh flavor. I mean this is more like a, this is more akin to RO2 MG gameplay, right? Charlie. You're set up and you're just covering your one little area. You've got your angles and that's about it. I don't don't make me wall bang you. I'm trying, man, but I, you can't actually go we through this wall. I don't think. Charlie. All right, let's get out of here. Yeah, I mean, as some I played a lot of MG in um, in RO2 and Rising Storm, but yeah, when I came over to, to Rising Storm 2, I was like, this ain't working, man, because you would set up somewhere and then you just get picked off almost instantly. As soon as you'd shoot you'd get picked off, so at that point I realized, well, you can't really play that same style. But you can actually ADS while not deployed. So then I was like, well, yeah, you're gonna have to kind of be a little bit more mobile. Oh, did my- did my ammo just suddenly appear? My belt? I say we go under Grant- oh no. And I think a lot of people are going to be playing this map just like they would Black April, but I think it's a little different, especially with the way the objectives work. It's completely different, you know, because this whole back area used to go back here and put a tunnel back here. It definitely seems easier to get to the palace, whereas in Black April, getting just even getting close to it was pretty tough. Oh shit, that's close, huh? That's real close. I saw some uh, muscle flash over here. Oh, what's that, a boot? Trying to see people from here is a bit touchy. I mean, I guess you just kind of have to spray all these windows, because you can't actually see anybody there, man. Can't see anybody, man! Oh no, this... So long, FPS! Oh no, the server's shitting itself. Ah! Oh, iPod's gonna get me killed for sure. Get some! I saw one in this window and one in that window. I got the first one. It's the best I can do. 30 seconds. Uh, it seemed like we were going at a pretty good pace, so I'm not sure how we ran out of time. Maybe it just needs more time on this map. Why am I out of combat there? Shut up! Oh, yeah. So that's it for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this RP46 gameplay. If you're not subscribed to the channel and you enjoy this type of content, do me a favor and hit that sub button and ring that bell for me. Of course, if you like this video, you know what to do. You leave a like and you drop a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.